big and become little dogs. Who said that, Juvia? Oh, you want to go out? Okay. Ah, oh, that beautiful snow. Starting to melt. You just needed a good roll around, Mama? I don't know who told the puppies they could grow up so fast, but it wasn't me. Because we're halfway there already. We are at four weeks. And look at them. They're just little dogs now. They're no longer just little puppies or little babies. They are little dogs. So everybody has a collar now. Just to help tell them apart. And I forgot to mention, everybody has a code name. So everybody has a nickname that we have given them. They all begin with the letter J after after Mama Juvia. And we took a poll on our Facebook page and these are the names that everybody came up with and I thought these were the best ones for everybody. So let me, for the first time, after a month, introduce you to Juvia's final retirement litter. We'll start with this guy. This, this is Jalal. Now, if you've heard the word Juvia before, it is from a show called Fairy Tale. It's an anime show, pretty popular. The puppies are hitting my camera. And there's a character in the show named Jalal. And of course, Jalal begins with a J. So, Jalal is the blue and tan male. He has a home, he'll be going to New Mexico. So he has quite the journey ahead of him. Right, Jalal? He's a beautiful pup. Oh, do you want to be next? Oh. All right, and this pretty girl in the yellow collar, this is Judy. Hi, right, Judy. Judy is a solid Isabella, which means she has no tan on her. Judy is a solid, oh my gosh. Everybody just wants to run over the, the camera legs. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Judy will be going to Toronto. She is a solid Isabella. Good size pup. She is gorgeous. Solid meaning she has no tan points on her paws. Right, Judy? Right. Oh, this is a fan favorite. This guy in the light blue collar is Jose. Jose is a blue and tan, and he'll be going to the uh, Simcoe area here in Ontario. Right, Jose? Another beautiful, beautiful pup. All right, and this is Julie. Julie is an Isabella and tan. Jalal, don't run into the camera, please. Isabella and tan, you can see the tan points on Julie here. She's a pretty girl, right, Julie? No home yet, but she will find the right home soon enough. Oh. This is my friend Jeff. My is Jeff. This is Jeff. Jeff is a Isabella and Tan. He's a little on the smaller side. You can see the tan points on him. He's a sweet boy. Such a cute face on him. Right? He's a good looking pup. Right, Jeff? His name is Jeff. And let's say, hey Jude. This is Jude. Once again, another Isabella and Tan. And the biggest Isabella and Tan, look at him, he is beefy. He will be going to the Quebec Montreal area, um, hopefully joining another breeding program. So exciting for Jude. Right, Judy boy? He's a hefty pup. He got some weight to him. Bye Jude. And then this sweet special girl is Judith. Judith is a solid blue girl, which means no tan on her. She will be going, I think it's the Thorold area. I have to double check. 
and I think it's the St. Catharines Thorold area of Ontario. So she's still staying semi-local, just a few hours away. She is our escape artist. She always wants to be with Juvia. She rather sleep with Juvia than with her with her litter mates. Sweet Judith. Oh, and then Juno, right, Juno? Juno is a prospect to stay here. So we'll see how she looks at the end of eight weeks. As of right now, I'm loving what I see. So she may stay and be part of a guardian home program where she lives with another family. And then depending on health testing, we'll come back. Whoa, do you not like that idea? Or are you just excited? Maybe she'll stay here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. She is Isabella and Tan, and she'll look just like her mama. Just a mini Juvia, but her name's Juno. Hey, Juno. Sweet girl. Good size. Who am I missing? And then we have this itty bitty a baby. This is Little John. Yeah, yeah. I don't wouldn't consider Little John a runt. What? Runts to me are 50% or half the size of the litter mates. And I don't think he's quite half the size. I think he's a little bit bigger than half the size, but oh, yeah. he's little John. Yeah, Let's get right? This he's a sweet boy. Just a little on the smaller side. Very inquisitive. Very, very vocal. Has a lot to say. But just in comparison, just in comparison. Oh, Jude, you came. Of little John and Jude. So he's definitely a little bit smaller, but not 50% smaller. A little John compared to Jalal. Isn't he just the sweetest little thing though? Oh, he's so sweet. I love him so much. And last but not least, the sleepy boy back here. Last but not least, Jeb for you Kerbal Space Program people. This is Jeb. Jeb, once again, Isabella and Tan male. Sweet little guy. Very, very nonchalant, very laid back, very go with the flow. Probably the easiest going puppy. He just wants to observe, he just wants to be around. He's just a happy guy. He's a sweet boy. Right, Jeb? Mwah. Okay, buddy. I'll let you get back to so that's the names of all 10 of Juvia's puppies. Um, as a recap, she did end up losing one during birth. Uh, he was a stillborn. We tried to resuscitate, unfortunately could not bring him back. But the 10 that did survive are thriving and are doing well. Six of them have homes. Four of them are still looking for homes. And four of them, all of them, are still getting into trouble. They all have their little puppy teeth coming in. So we have introduced a mush last week. Show us your teeth. There they are. Oh, oh. So those puppy teeth have started to come in, which means Juvia has begun the weaning process. She doesn't nurse them as much. Uh, last week we started feeding them puppy mush, which is just a blended puppy food. We add pumpkin puree, you can add goat milk, um, there's a lot of additives you can add to it just to get their little digestive tracts ready for a semi-solid or solid diet and not just the straight milk, milk diet, <laughs> right? So she'll probably be done weaning them in the next couple weeks because she does not like those sharp teeth. I'm sure nobody would like 10 teeth like this gnawing at you, so I don't blame her. So and now that they've turned four weeks, we're going to start the semi-solid which is just a soaked puppy food um, and then hopefully by the time they're five weeks they'll be straight on just puppy kibble who's eating me jeb my tasty you got a little camera shot Spring has sprung in Northern Ontario, which means it's also shedding season. So we got all the big dogs to shed, Grundy shedding, Iroh shedding, Juvia 
isn't shedding yet, but uh, mamas do go through a postpartum shed, so she'll go through a shed in a few weeks. Uh, Oscar's shedding, Sansa's always shedding, and Grandma Irie is shedding as well, so the house is nice and hairy. But with spring comes mud. Luckily, we don't have mud quite yet. Still got quite a bit of snow to melt, and then, and then the mud season comes. Just in time for these guys to go home. <laughs>